we have a system in place to tackle the challenges of theft of intellectual property is something which our honorable chief minister has rightly recognized and to promote the rule of law and also to ensure that our rights are protected this committee has been considered the actual problem which uh, came about was because of the cultural misappropriation for business and other commercial intent not by the owners and inheritors of this but thankfully for all of us there is enough legislation there is the intellectual property right which protects what is ours under the rubric of intellectual property i am also a little disappointed that we have not been uh, proactively able to file the gi tech over all the tribes uh, and uh, herein i would like to request you that government can only do as much we will promote we will support and we will create institutions and systems for you to use but unless you come forward and participate we will not be able to preserve the inheritance of our cultural heritage so i would like to therefore say that today under the department of industrial policy and promotion the ministry of commerce and industry government of india pic nasdaq has been made the nodal agency for catalyzing promotion and facilitation of ipr related activities in the state i remember in 2018 under the guidance of our honorable chief minister the department of science and technology had conducted a workshop on registering for the geographical mm -hmm. indication and uh, because of the pandemic i'm sure a lot of uh, the tribal representatives who were present in the workshop who have been trained on how to apply for gi tech for their cultural products have uh, also had to take a back seat because of the lockdown and the pandemic however now uh, i would like to thank the honorable chief minister for continuing the all important work of documenting our traditional weaves and attires and uh, even ornaments by constituting this state level committee this workshop is in the right direction and has the right support otherwise our honorable chief minister would not be present today in our meet so this has to be a collaboration between the people and the government and unless it is done we will still see in the future our cultural heritage being appropriated or misappropriated by other commercial interests and for which our weavers would not benefit so at the heart of this workshop is to ensure that we not only sustain and keep our tradition alive but we also benefit in ways in which the new system will enable us to benefit and for which community engagement is the primary approach and i would encourage all of you that in the workshop that we are going to hold today i want you to actively revisit so the training that was given during the workshop that was conducted in the past and whether elections come and go it, this is not related to elections we should preserve our heritage and we should ensure that we use the right system to do that so that it will benefit all our people therefore the challenge is to be proactive with this few words i would like to thank all of you for coming for this workshop and i would like to once again acknowledge the guidance and the support of our honorable chief minister in ensuring that our cultural heritage is not only protected but supported thank you so much